Okay, so I'm just going to make this video to show you how to treat your African cichlids when they get sick. Um, I'll be mainly focusing on Colmenaris because I feel like that one is probably for me the most deadliest fish I've ever, I mean deadliest disease I've ever encountered. Um, last time um, I got Colmenaris was when I had my 75, um, which it's still there and I'll make a video about it later, but uh, I had all, and I think I have a video of the stock I used to have, but I pretty much only had Mbuna, and basically I had 20 Mbuna and I got hit with Colmenaris and I didn't know what it was, I thought it would it looked like a fungal infection to me because there was like um, you know huge white areas and fuzzy growth and there was like some blood places in places so uh, and it killed 10 of my fish I think so I lost my ACI my OB zebra I lost my two frontosas that I had and I liked. I lost my dolphin and a couple other fish. So yeah, it hit me pretty hard, but it was a learning experience for me. And now I know how to treat it and not make the same mistakes that I used to make before while treating it. So a couple of fish that survived were the, this hap, I don't know what it is, honestly. Um, this cyanochromus fryeri. Uh, this parrot cichlid. You know, my big catfish. Love that catfish. Um, uh, Nyurii. Can't even know what his name is, huh? Um, what else? I, now that I have like a lot of fish in this tank, it's hard to find. Oh, this yellow lab right here. I think this is a white lab, to be honest. I'm not really sure. Um, so yeah, those are all the fish that survived. Um, props to them. But um, So basically, the thing that I put at first was I used Malefix and you know, Malefix treats, you know, fungal, bacterial infections. So that was my first go-to because I saw like some blood and I thought there was like aggression and stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm going to Malefix. So I used Malefix. Uh, it doesn't work with Culminaris. And so, yeah, I pretty much wasted like um, three to five days um, on it and it did not work. So don't use Malefix when treating Colmenaris. Um, it's, it's not at all effective for that. It's a good medicine. It's a good product. I love using it, but not for Colmenaris. Um, you can use Camasian sulfate. And Colmenaris is gram-negative bacteria. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. So Colmenaris is gram-negative. So here's the camasian sulfate and the I use it in the for, form of medicated flakes. So once I figured out it was Colmenaris, I just looked through my medicated flakes. I just bought like a whole pack of medicated flakes. So like they'll treat various diseases. Like I have, oh crap. I have like metron, I mean metronidazole. I don't know how to say it. But like I have that anti -prozone, protozoan so like whenever they get ick I might treat them with that this treats it internally not externally so this won't treat ick for external issues but I still like to use it um, this will treat Colmenaris effectively so basically once you see it put it in your uh, tank I mean let this let um, the fish eat this once I gave the fish all their food like this thing um, none of the fish started to die. So, 
this stuff really works okay so yeah um, uh, oh yeah also um, the things that like started my mm, common errors was I didn't really have like I was overfeeding my tank because like I just started in the cichlid hobby so I didn't really know and I wanted my fish to grow fast and I was um, not cleaning it too often. I, I think I cleaned it once a week or something and I didn't really have good filtration on that so it didn't really work out. I used to, I started out cleaning it three times a week and it was working great but uh, since like I think I've stopped with that tank so yeah the quality went bad and another big reason was I had a um, I don't remember what the fish was called but it was a five inch uh, fish and he was an imbuna I'll put a picture of it aggressive he was like super aggressive to all the other fish and he was constantly chasing them and he was like the boss of the tank so you know how that is so he was pretty much like chasing everybody and you know making everyone stressed while they so while Colmenares was in the water and you know so all my fish were under the stress of him and like the water quality and all that stuff so then Colmenares you know it picks up on the fish on the like weakest fish yeah it all it started on the weakest fish and the fish next in line because the fish was um, constantly attacking them so pretty much it was basically a bunch of things um, that happened that created one big um, disease outbreak so I don't really know who's the boss of my tank right now but it looks to be this Taiwan Reef and or I mean or uh, this guy but yeah so these fish are the either either of these fish are good they're not very aggressive they're pretty chill um, and you know this tank other, unlike my other tank that I used to have um, this tanks pretty chill there's not really too much aggression uh, so yeah the water is a little cloud I mean the water is a little yellow because of this drift this huge piece of driftwood right here I usually clean it but I, I clean the tank like twice a week now or maybe three times but I I wasn't here I was on vacation actually so I can not really clean this tank but yeah, this tank will, um, once I do my water changes, it'll clear up and become clearer. But yeah, that's pretty much how you treat Colmenaris. I mean, you use camasian sulfate, I guess, and uh, don't use Malifix, it doesn't work. And pretty much putting, uh, doing lots of water changes um, will probably be the best like, if you see something that's wrong in your tank, um, then just do a, more water changes than you actually would be doing. So if you do it once a week, maybe do it like every other day, because uh, clean water is the best medicine of all. So yeah, if you're wondering where all those other fish gone have gone, that's what happened to the tank. And thanks for watching.